hottest new niche in the Arknet community. It hosts some of the most virtuous operators in the game, like... Recuperarle de de oro. Esta época pasada que ellos recuerdan con tanto cariño. Naciendo después... My parents used to talk about bringing back the golden age. That... We've flown them from all the corners of Terror to our land ship here at Mochi LLC. People just like you that dream of instant riches and the ability to pull pod 6 for every character that releases. Will one of them be able to seize the chance tonight to take home this life altering amount and make their gambling addiction even worse over the course of one short evening? Will they have the knowledge and courage to do so? Join us from Mochi Pictures LLC as we play Who Wants to Be an Opillionaire? Welcome everybody to the premiere of the most exciting, the most dramatic live stream program that you, or I, or anyone else has ever seen. Tonight we will see if our contestant can win their riches to worsen their gambling addiction for anime JPEGs. What a night this is going to be. So without further ado, let's introduce our contestant and play Who Wants to Be an Opillionaire. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the first episode of Who Wants to Be an Opillionaire? Truly, we will see if we have the biggest of brains. <laughs> so, without further ado, let me introduce our contestant for the night. His name is Snool. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What is up? Your boy is here to see if I could be an Opillionaire. <laughs> it may have been, like, possibly... Uh, you know, couple, like two months since my last Arknights video, and I may have only made like two in a year, but your boy has been playing this game for like three and a half years at this point. So surely, there is absolutely no way I am going to get washed in this. My memory may be terrible, but it's not that bad. Your boy will pull up, guaranteed. That's quite the uh, confident, you know, declaration, I must say. So, anything you're feeling particularly weak on? Anything you might uh, you might get tripped up on? Anything that you're looking out for? Easiest one to choose is mechanics, gameplay mechanics, because I'll keep it 100 with you, I am carried beyond imagination. My entire squadron for the past hmm, couple years has been nothing but six stars. I justify it a bit by saying I'm using ones that I like and not ones that are inherently meta picks. Like, you know, Exia, you know, she's pretty bad in the meta, you know? So, like... That's how I could justify using nothing but six stars. Uh, but yeah, in terms of gameplay mechanics, I know none of them. People talk about the stuff like, oh, fear is a thing. I'm like, what the fuck? Fear? We have that as a gameplay mechanic? Doesn't like Dagon have it or some shit? I don't even know what it does. I just know her skill three kills everything. So mechanics I'm easily the weakest on. Second would be story, but like, yeah. I remember enough of the story in the past. You know, like I, have, I haven't checked out the more recent ones I plan to eventually, but I, I'm feeling I have enough of a foundation on that one. Gameplay mechanics, yeah, nothing. Well, we'll see what we have cooked up here tonight. Hopefully, it plays into your your strengths and not your weaknesses, so you can take home an opillion amounts of Originite Prime, which is amounts to like twenty so, pulls. So, <laughs> okay, okay, so so like when I win this, so you're gonna buy me like a monthly pass? That's, uh, you know, some would say that 1 million OP uh, amounts to about that much. Go, go, go. <laughs> Actually, wait, how'd the, how'd the poll go? 37% uh, think... They have no faith in you. I will show them wrong. I will show them who is going to pull up. <laughs> of course, we start with the... With, we start with the, uh, the hardest question. So... What is this stage? A. 0, 7. B. 1 7. C. 2 7. 
or D, 3-7. I swear to God, that zero on A is a fucking O, if anything. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I don't know. Can I swap this question? No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. It's B, 1-7. So you're locking in 1-7. I, like, I know it's the answer, but when you say it like that, it makes me question, but yeah, 1-7. One 1-7 seven. <laughs> one seven is the correct answer. Also, I forgot to mention, your four starting lifelines are 50-50, ask chat, ask the host, and DM a friend. Who is this operator? A. Read alter. B. Horn. C. Sally, or D, Dagen. Uh, that shit was way harder at first appearance than it should have been. At first, I was thinking Warmy or whatever the new motherfucker's name is. Then I came to the realization she ain't even on the thing, so yeah, I'd be a read alter. She's the only non-blonde right there. Well, I mean, she's blonde, but she isn't like piss blonde, you know? Like, like it's more like old woman blonde, you know? Yeah, because like Horn, Salish, and Dagen, they all have like really blonde hair. She, Reed kind of has like that you know, like, kind of going into grandma, like, 60-year-old blonde hair. You feel me? Oh, damn. Were the colors, like, fading a lot? Yeah. I mean, I would say that they're all all blonde characters, but damn. Piss blonde, read alter. No, no, no. She's not piss blonde. Oh, she's the not piss blonde. Oh, the rest yeah, are yeah, piss blonde. Yeah, yeah. She's, like, grain blonde. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, she's a hag is what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, confirmed. okay. I see, yeah, I see. Yeah. Good answer. It's a good answer. Let's see. If you're correct. And you are correct. Congratulations. First you have made I... 200 oh, OP into the bank. Who does this skilled name belong to? Destreza. Is it? A. Irene. B. Lumen. C. Thorns. D. Weedy. What's calling out to you Thorn right now? Uh, Thorns, obviously. Um, thing is, though, it's like, I know he says it, but I did not know his skill was actually named Destretza. I would imagine it to be his third skill, because who actually pays attention to his first two skills? So yeah, definitely uh, Thorns. Locking it in. Feeling, feeling confident, I see. I feel like you're, you're rolling through these right now. Yeah. Perhaps I made them too easy. Well, we're the, let's we're the check. first three out, hope. <laughs> <laughs> and that's correct. Thorns. Skill name is Bersetsa. And you have bag 300 uh, OP. Which operator can be bought in the credit store? Is it A. Durnar. B. J. C. Pinecone. Or is it D. A's? Credit store, it is. quite a quite an AK thing. You always check it every day. But do you remember back in the day, who did you buy from it? Well, this is actually a trick question because you did not buy anyone in the credit store, did you? I think you just got to a milestone and you picked them up, right? But anyway, the answer would be Durnar. Um, I remember people were saying like, oh, she's such a good defender. And then like I got her and proceeded to never once use her. Yeah, because she's shit. Yeah, shit. I think maybe year one she was serviceable, you know, back when we thought Angelina was a good operator, you know, <laughs> the times have changed. Well, we are locking in A, Der Nar. Let's check the next slide. It is in fact correct. It is Der Nar. Der Nar is one of three operators you can buy, the other two being Courier and Gavial. Whose skill is this? Whose skill is this? Is it A. Amia B. Bruce C. Ray D. A. or Scarp huh. Which Banui possesses this skill icon? I'm not gonna cap, this one's terrifying. Um, I know it's not Amia because... Not bullets. Amiga? Uh, it's not A or Escape, because bullets. Um, I could use a 50-50, but it feels like that would be a waste. It is between Ray or Cruz, within my mind. 
I would say, if anything, probably Cruz, because even though I have Ray like M9 already, she don't shoot a lot of bullets. And if anything, I feel so I'd be aiming more towards utilizing her summon, right? Mm, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'd say Cruz. Little worried on this one, but I'd say Cruz. Cruz, are you are you sure about that? You do have four lifelines. If you do lose a life, you uh, will lose those lifelines. So you better use what, them. Oh, you will? Yes, you will use oh. your, you will lose the lifelines uh, if you what don't are the four use lifelines them. lifelines I got? <laughs> you have 50-50. You, have, 50 -50, you uh -huh. have ask chat. You have ask the host. And you have DM a friend. Okay. Chat ain't gonna know that shit. Um... Chat could be uh, split. You never know. I see... I'm looking at chat right now. There are some wrong answers in there. Naturally. Um, okay, so because I'll lose them, I'll, I'll ask the host. What do we uh, mm -hmm. utilize that lifeline? Okay, okay. Ask the host has been used. So. If it's true, I'm going to be mad, yeah? I remember that you were very excited for this character to come out and be released because she looks like a Steins Gate character. So mm. I purposely put this at the $500 question because I thought I'd be pandering to you. Recent release, Benoi, you like her, you're gassing her up at your jeopardy. Surely <laughs> you would see the ray of light and get this question correct and not have to use a lifeline. Yeah, um, yeah so the answer would be Ray. Um, <clears throat> mm, um, I, you locking in Ray. Yeah, yeah, a little, yeah. Hmm, I see. Let's see if you got it correct. Congratulations! You I'm used your lifeline. <laughs> and welcome home, your 500 OP into your bank account. Ray is the correct. I actually was sweating bullets. I thought you were going to fuck up at the $500, $500 question. <laughs> <laughs> Who of the following is an event welfare? Is it A. Indra? B. Sidroka? C. Vulcan? Or is it D. Iris? It's not Indra or Vulcan because they're both recruitment. Um. Which one of these bland, forgettable characters on the right side of your screen is calling out to you? That's the problem. They're both bland and forgettable. Um, hmm. I don't know if this question would really constitute utilizing a lifeline, but you're not able to roll event welfares within the gacha normally, right? You are unable to, yes. It would have to be Sidoroka then, because I don't remember ever rolling Iris before. And Sidoroka would be within the, one of the summer events, one of the earlier ones. Um, and Iris, <laughs> forgettable heaven is. <laughs> Locking in Sidoroka. How are you feeling? Are you feeling confident? After your no. blunder, last question? <laughs> no. I'm like, oh, I got this next one. That's like event welfare. I'm like, bro, who, who remembers Sidoroka? Legitimately. <laughs> I think the only thing people remember her for is like her summer skin. That's it. You are correct. It is, the it is Sidroka. Congratulations. I was a bit too terrified on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Which operator cost the most initial DP to place down? Is it A, Mudrock, B, Mastima, C, Chen Alt, D, Vigil, in parentheses, Emotional? Um, hmm. All of these are memory... no, no potentials, of course. Yeah, yeah. If memory serves, I think it's 36, 34, 32 for Mudrock, Mastima, Chen. What about Vigil? How much emotional DP do you think he takes to place? 12. See, I, I think see. Vigil's 12. If it's Vigil, I'm selling my account on eBay or something. Um, so yeah, I would say The Rock. Rock, Rock. Mud, Mud. All right. Locking in A. Are you correct? You are indeed correct. Congratulations. Mud Rock is indeed 36 DP. However, if you did say Vigil, I would have accepted the answer. Which archetype only has passive skills? 
Is it A, ambushers, B, executors, C, pioneers, B, abjurers? What's calling out um, to you right now? So wait, when you say passive skills, you mean something you don't activate, right? Ambushers? But like, Ascalon has skills though, right? Like, you would activate them, and that would make it not a passive skill, correct? That would make it not passive, yes, if you have to activate it. Yeah, so... Misaki, it would have to be Ethan, abjurers, right? Manticore, abjurers. Yeah, Ethan has a skill you activate, yeah. I remember because, actually, I have a bone to pick with Ethan. His fucking operator record stage, or whatever the hell that shit was called, I did not have him at skill level 7. I had to rely on so much RNG bullshit to get that cleared. It took like five tries of me doing the same thing. So yeah, it's abjure. I've never once used silence altar, but it's abjures. Are you sure you don't want to use lifelines? Hmm. Are you sure? Do you hear the suspenseful music through your headphones? No, I'm hearing nothing but static. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, actually, I think it's just like the audio thing. But yeah, I, I couldn't be wrong. Like, I, right? you know, sometimes, again. Unless I'm not understanding passive skills, because the second you activate it, or like, so wait, you said on deployment. So like on, on deployment. deployment, it would be different, right? No, on deployment, maybe... the skill activates. Yeah, because you don't... So you, you place the character down, and the skill starts. Yeah, yeah, like... And only has. Only so has... Have no active skills whatsoever. They have no active skills. I... So it... You have three lifelines. I would... Maybe use a lifeline here. Okay. Uh, make it a... F uh, let me ask chat. <laughs> you want to ask chat? Uh, yeah, there's no way it's not... All you right. Need to be gaslighting him, motherfucker. <laughs> chat. Chat. Start flaming Snool or start uh, agreeing with him. Uh, please start oh. placing answers. <laughs> I see. I see. I saw one thing. Yeah, it's B. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's B. Yeah. Okay. In my defense, that's dog shit naming by them. <laughs> I think you just mixed up spread shooters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aren't they called boomsticks or some shit? That's dog shit naming by them. How are you going to have a character named Executor and then not have that be like the class and then have another class named Executor that is not even a part of? Hmm. Let's see if chat has lied to you. <laughs> they pulled through for once the single brain cell that chat has came through and you got it correct. Executors was indeed the correct answer. Thank you, chat. I'm so fucked. <laughs> yeah. Which of the following have swift strike? Is it oh. A, Partooth, B, Silver Ash, C, Ashlock, or D, Mastima? Would the Y hold any importance within this, or is it just like, whatever? It's whatever. Okay, Silver Ash. Is yes, it skill one? Are you sure about that? This is the only one so far I, I have been positive within. Masuma doesn't have Swift Strike because it's a sword. Fartooth, it's a sword. Ashlock, who the fuck is. Oh, yeah, the rat. It's a sword, and she has like a gun lance from fucking Monster Hunter. It's Silver Ash. I'm confident in this one. Had you ever thought that maybe the skill icon is not representative of the weapons being used? I don't want to hear that after what happened with the fucking Ray question, all right? I don't want to hear that with what happened after that shit. This is it's a... Silver Ash, he has a skill one, I know, because I thought it was a good skill at first, but not it's dog shit. Uh, Swift Strike Gamma is a basic skill one. Uh, skill one, many operators have it. You could be confusing it for something that looks very similar there is legitimately no way unless he had like swift strike delta or some shit does he even there have is... swift strike he does i know it's like three hits before he could do the big one or some shit it would be silver ash the only range motherfucker who has it would be well i was gonna say the caster of steward, but I don't even know if it's Swift Strike. But yeah, it would have to be Silver Ash. Ashlock. Wait, wait, is, is Strike Strike 
Wait, Swift Strike, is that a skill you activate or is that an on hit thing? It is a skill one that you activate. Oh, okay, it'd be Ash Lock then. Or, well, it could be Far Tooth. Huh? Okay, that seems so generic, it would have to be Ash Lock. There's no, no way they would give that shit to. Wait, Mastama might have it. Damn. What you, question are we on? Uh, <laughs> the four thousand dollar question. It's like question yeah. seven or eight, I believe. I forgot to keep track. Okay. Uh, fuck. You okay, have. You so... still have two lifelines. Um. Uh, all I'll, all, I'll, awesome. all I'll say it's HG has tendencies to sometimes give six stars pretty shitty skill ones. I mean that is true. That is true. Don't count yeah, him out. I think, I think it is. Hmm. I think it is Mastima because I remember. I, I don't know. People talk about a skill two, and skill three. I never hear talk about a skill one, so it would have to be Swift Strike. So I'm, I'm gonna lock it, Mastima. You sure you want to lock that in, motherfucker? Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um. I would have you, the 50 50 and uh, you have a, phone a friend, right? You have a 50 50 and you have a phone a friend. If no one picks up your phone, uh, I will be your friend and I'll answer the question to the best of my ability. Okay, I. It legitimately is between fucking Fartooth and Mastama. I don't remember Mastama's skill one or Fartooth skill one. I just know Fartooth skill three and skill two, I believe. Um. I'll, I'll use the 50 50. Fuck it. The computer has randomly deleted Silver Ash and Mastima. Okay, so it would be Far Tooth. <laughs> it would be Far Tooth. Fuck me. Are you locking in Far Tooth? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. That is correct. Far Tooth is indeed the one that possesses Swift Strike Gamma. Silver Ash has Power Strike, and I uh, believe that, yeah. Mustima has Attack Up of some sort. The event, Lone Trail, takes place in what country? Colombia. A, Colombia. That is correct. Colombia is indeed the correct answer. Congratulations, 8,000 into your back pocket. Who is the only limited to receive a rerun of okay, nice. their banner? A. W, B, Sculptor, C, Rosmontis, D, Neon. Neon. They gave her a rerun because at first we did not have the 300 spark on her banner, so they did a rerun where they put that up, and I proceeded to not roll on her again because I was like, W's coming out recently, um, so I ignored her. Kind of turned to regret that because I do want Neon on my account, not because I plan to use her, she seems dog shit. Uh, but just because I want her on my account for completion's sake. So D, Neon. That is correct. Neon is the correct answer. He indeed had a rerun. Where is this? A. Siesta. B. Dos Olas. C. Colombia. D. Lungman. Damn, that is the most indiscreet architecture I've ever seen. Ah, uh, we are playing Geoguessr. It's not the Solace, because the Solace is you know, all colory. Siesta, also not that as well. Um, I don't think it would be... I could see I could see it being Columbia or Lungman, both city-oriented places. Both have a lot of skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. Columbia's backgrounds are generally more grayscale, though, so I'd have to go with Lungman, because Lungman's very colorful. Lungman has been locked in. Said it with chest. I'm terrified. Believed. <laughs> and that is incorrect. It is Siesta. Siesta? Who the fuck? This is from So Long Adele. That's why I was trying to bring it to the uh, the pink coloring at the bottom. Well, it probably <laughs> doesn't help that I've actually not played that event. <laughs> I hear it's good, but I, I'm yet to. But, but I thought we already went to Sesta in um, the first summer event. We did. We went back. Yeah. Damn. Luckily, you have two lives. True, true. 
the game continues. And, uh, to be nice, I will give you back... You will now have, uh... Six lifelines. <laughs> the two oh, extra yeah. being a double dip and switch to question. Which of these operators has innate status resistance? A. Aurora. B. Reese. C. Bolinic. D. Orcus. I've not utilized one of these motherfuckers. Okay. Quirkus, no way. Bolinic. Linux. I could see it. It's he? Okay, Breeze. Okay. Breeze is just like pure healing. She just shits out healing. So I would say probably not her. Aurora, I could see it within being you fucking frost resistance. Um, so the ones I have now are double dip and You have all six. Oh, all six? Okay. Um I, I gave you I'll give you all six. <laughs> I <laughs> I would have to say I'm gonna pop. Hmm. What are you feeling right now? Pop what are you between? 50 50. Alright, a 50 50. The computer has randomly eliminated Aurora and Breeze. Okay, it's for Lenick. There's no way Quirkus has innate status resistance. There is legitimately no shot. Are we locking in? Yes. Lenick. That's correct. Polinic is the correct answer. She has innate status resistance. What is the name of the unique property that is applied to enemies that are in Chapter 9? Is it A. Dodge B. Poison C. Refraction D. DP Down Applied to enemies, so like only to the enemy. Only to the enemy. Well, dodge isn't unique because it's used outside of chapter 9, right? Like, that would be, like, unique is, like, only in this chapter, right? Yes. What was chapter 9 again? What, what were the enemies, if that doesn't give away too much? Chapter 9 was... They were Dublin. Yeah, that's right. So, well, we had fire. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah it's refraction, yeah, because the grouping motherfuckers, that's right. It gives them, like, what, arts damage resistance up? Locking in refraction. That is correct. It is refraction. Holy ball. Uh, I actually don't know what the chapter 10 mechanic is called, uh, but chapter 10 would be would have been poison, which is the, the clouds of uh, ligma. You, they, they spew you when you kill them. This branch has the most operators in it. Is it? A. Executors. B. AA Snipers, C. Lords, D. Pioneers. Exia, Ash, uh, Cruz, Cruz Altar, um, others. Others. I, <laughs> I would have to say my bet to be anti-air snipers. Because I remember them motherfuckers being a lot more common than Lords. I don't think Lords are all, are all, are all that common because... There's a lot of guards, but there's like 20 different fucking guard classes, you know? True. There's a lot of fucking guards in this game. Yeah. So I would say anti-air snipers. You are... Correct. We it, is, it is snipers. There's a, there's a butt fuck of them. However, pioneers yeah. aren't that far behind. There's a shitload of pioneers in this game. Oh, wait, really? I yeah. I suppose like Saga... Saga says one name. <laughs> <laughs> siege. Uh, what, if people still use siege. <laughs> True. How many altars oh, are God. there in the current global version? I'm surprised there's a bare a, minimum 16. A. Oh, yeah. 16. B. 17. C. 18. Or D. 20. I would have to... I mean, initial optics would be 16, but let's see. Um, hibiscus, Lava, Yato. Um, that's three. I was going to say Mastomo, but that's me hoping. They do it with Lapland as well. Shit, I can't remember like any other altar motherfuckers for... Yeah, we would just be counting the altars, not like the altar and the original, right? 
Yeah, this is just, uh, yeah. you know, Chen counts as one person. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to use a lifeline? Do I'll, I'll you... utilize double dip. We'll be using a double dip. Here it is for uh, two seconds Thanks. on the screen for, for chat. There it is. Double dip has been used. All right, go ahead and give the... Uh... Uh, 16. 16 I can't is... imagine it going much far beyond that, yeah? 16 is incorrect. Damn. That makes shit terrifying. Um, let's ask chat. Yeah, let's let's pull up chat. All right, Guys, chat. Sorry, launch out, launch out operator names. Chat has been used. See what they're saying. People are saying 18. Lots of 18s. Yeah, it's 18. I mean. That's a lot of 18s. You said only one person got it correct, though. Did like well, that was that, in the hive mind? That was before this. Yeah, cause... yeah. I'm, I'm looking up, and yeah, it's. Yeah, I'll say. I, I suppose I'll say 18 then. We are believing in the singular functioning brain cell of chat. Chat is known to be wrong. 18 has been locked in. How are you feeling? Not good. I, there's 18 of these motherfuckers. Oh my god. Why do we not have Moss to my altar yet? Like, just throw her and then stop at the altar shit. God damn. Is chat correct? They are correct. It is 18 motherfuckers. I'm pulling up the Ark Knights. What, which ones did I miss? Yeah, you're missing Gray, Reed. Who the fuck is Gray? Whose voice is this? I will play you a clip. And uh, hopefully your static doesn't uh, fuck it up. <laughs> Arknights. Arknights. Who says that uh, a, a title catch? Is it... Can I get it in Japanese? A. <laughs> I, I'll give it to you in Japanese. A. Manticore. B. Honeyberry. C. Hibiscus Alt. D. Amia. I will give it to you in... JP. Arknights. That's Amia. I've never been more confident within an answer. Hibiscus Altar sounds depressed. Manticore sounds shy. Honeyberry, who the fuck is that? It's Amia. Is Amia the correct answer? It sure is. It's the Benoit. The Benoit was the, Benoit. the, was the correct answer. That is Amia's catch call. Good thing I had JP uh, in the back burner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which of these characters have a regional voice in global? Is it A. Valkus B. Shamer C. Mulberry D. Irado Um... Question on a regional voice. That's the, um, and it's like a voice setting, right? It was like C in Korean, and then like C in regional or some shit. It would be regional voices: C in regional, Italian, Russian. Oh, like uh, okay, okay. So, so just like something that would be purely for a region. Yes. Um, you do have three lifelines, and you're almost at the finish. You are only. Uh, what about five, five questions away. You have switched the question, you have asked the host, and you have DM a friend still. <laughs> mm, okay, I'm, I'm gonna ask the host. I don't believe in my friends. So, so, so what are you, what are you feeling? Well, Valkus, Iberian, so her regional voice would be Spanish. Shamer yeah, but... is uh, Syracusan, so she'd be uh... Italian. Mulberry? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, Shamara. Uh, 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 Mulberry? She is, I believe, from Yan, so Chinese. And Narado, Greek. Um, however, obviously, no Greek and no Spanish in the game. Shamer and, is mm. Italian, however, I don't believe she got Italian. 
Yeah. So I so think yeah. perhaps Mobilian, uh, Mobilian Mulberry, who is uh, a bird, not a fish. Uh, I she feel like bird? she okay. is indeed a bird. Yeah, all right. Mulberry it is. All right. Locking in Mulberry. That is correct. Mulberry what indeed is has that? CN regional voice. <laughs> Why does that plant look like it's growing out of her back or some shit? What the fuck? <laughs> that's just how the art. That's a. That's how yeah. her skin be. Who is rocking these babies? A. Cantabile. B. Meteorite. C. Wishlash. D. Branca. Who has these fucked up shoes? These sick and twisted shoes. Damn, you're pulling up all the motherfuckers I... It's not Ken Kentaba. It's not, because she, um... She actually has drip. I'm gonna just say it. <laughs> she actually has drip. Um, when it comes to Meteorite, uh, she has tights on, so that, that fits within her. Um, and it also fits within her stance, because she is facing off towards the right. Um, Franca? Franca also has tights, but she's facing off to the left in her E1. So I would say it's probably not Franca. Wishlash? I, the only thing I remember about Wishlash is, is that fucking E2. She is throwing it back in the E2. Yeah, she, she do be throwing it back in the E2. But I feel as though she has like a, a dress on though, so I would see the dress. So it would have to be between Meteorite and Franca. I'll say Franca. Uh, Franca locked in? Yeah. We are locking in Franca. How are you feeling? Do you I don't know. I do. Hmm. Franca is locked in. So but... It's difficult because I do go like meteorite. I swear she's facing off to the right, so that makes sense within the feet. But I do remember her having black shoes. I'm pretty sure. Franca. Franca is the type of crazy motherfucker to wear some whack shit like that. But I, I do remember her facing off to the left. So I don't know if the position would make that much sense with the feet. But yeah, I would just have to say Franca. No way it's Kentabaha. That's the one I'm confident in. <laughs> There's no way it's her. She actually has fucking drip. Let's see if you are correct. That is correct. Franca wears these fucked up shoes. Look at those things. How many operators received a skin on release? Is it A, 3, B, 4, C, five, D, six. Out of every question, this is the one I'm least confident in because I did not play the game on release. But this is received a skin on release. So their event dropped and they and it came with one of their skins. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like release of the game. No, no, no. This is okay, uh, event um, drop, they get a skin. Uh, would release of the game count as well or? No, this is counting okay. anything, everything past release um april she's one that's one I, yeah i remember everyone fucking talking shit about april um yeah honestly out yeah, initial optics would be three just because i can't remember that many options of it um see i'd say april and then i feel so cruise alter dropped with one maybe i would say you you have the hardest you you got the hardest operator in this list already Really? April's the hardest? I would say April's the hardest. Oh, damn. Um, Not any three stars. Did any six stars drop with a skin? Oh, Ash. Um, it's two. Yato didn't drop with one. Because nobody would fucking buy it if she did, <laughs> let's be honest. I mean, go, yeah, you know, like... <laughs> um, did it with Noir Corn. Tachanka did as well. Actually, any of the Rainbow Six motherfuckers did, right? Perhaps? You Are you saying... Ash and Tachanka in April? You're at three? Yeah, I'd say Ash, Tachanka in April. I don't think Frost and Blitz did. Because, yeah, no, I don't think they did. Nobody uses them anyway. <laughs> um, so much slander being yeah. thrown out tonight. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty ass, aren't they? I know with Tachanka you could... What are my uh, lifelines? Switch the question, DM a friend. So, you have two lifelines. You could do... Half and half. Actually, just to be nice, I will. What, what do you want? Do you want to ask the host a chat or a 50 50? I'm reimbursing you the lifeline you didn't use from your first life. 
I'll let you, uh, I'll I'll let, I'll let you choose. 50-50, because that one, that one makes it all fun. All right, 50-50, so you have 50-50, switch to question, and DM a friend. Let's hit it up with the uh, ask a friend. You want to DM a friend? Yeah. Uh, I'll let you DM someone 40 seconds, and if no one uh, heeds your call, I will be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I don't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Wow, good thing I'm your friend. Thank you. What do you want to ask me? Um, so, my dear friend Mochi, of which uh, you are not the host of this. Nope. How many operators received a skin on release in the game Arc of Nights? Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking four. You know, April, mm -hmm. Ash, Chonka. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm thinking uh, Terror Research Commission. I think uh, I believe they got their skin. Damn little motherfuckers! Yeah. That's right. They they were the mo monster hunter skin. Yeah, that's right. Those disgusting little creatures. Yeah. All right, B. We're locking in B. You have phoned in a friend. In. Hopefully, uh, that friend is correct. That is correct. It is for those were the four operators that received skin. Yeah, I thought. I thought Ash, or not Ash, April would be thinking the thing that, you know, tripped, you know, tripped you up. Uh, nah, because whenever I see April, I always have that hater energy of like, bro, <laughs> you're so mid. Why did you have a skit on release? Like, who asked? Like, like, I always have that hater energy whenever oh, I see Oh, okay. Like, Fueled by hater energy, yeah. Kate is the real name of which operator? Is it A, Azamaru? B, indigo, C, mint, D, breeze. Who, no, I'll be who, who is, uh, what's, what's, what's grabbing your attention immediately here? I mean, I would definitely say Casamaro from Kate, but I feel as though that could be a worry. I will say, out of all the original names to, for operators, these are like the most whack-ass motherfuckers. Like, no Laurentina for Spectre. No, no fucking, um, what the fuck was Golden Glow's name? Shit, I forgot. Her name is Susie. Susie, yeah. No Susie? Uh, Kazumaru. I mean, that would have to be it, but I feel that's a bit too... Like, that's just lazy from Kazumaru, you know? Kazumaru? She is already. So, uh, it could be her. You could lock in Kate for, uh, you know, Kazumaru. I'll, I'll lock in Kate for Kazumaru. If that is... If... I'm gonna be a little mad if that's the answer though. This one lazy ass motherfucking operator. I say that as we have a, a motherfucker named Durin, but like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Kazumaru has been locked in. The Japanese inspired character is her name Kate. Is she Kate Maru? How are you feeling about Kate Maru? You think that that ring, you know, that that like rolls off the tongue? Not at all, especially when you say Japanese. I'm like, bro, what, what Japanese person's name? Fucking Kate. <laughs> In could... the streets of Shibuya. Hey, what's up? Oh, my name's Kate. What the fuck? Well, you have locked in Kazumaru to be designated as the Japanese person named Kate. She is ready. And let's find out if you were correct. I hope. You are correct. Kate okay, nice. is Kazumaru's name mentioned once in a light spark in darkness <laughs> Wait, she was a part of that shit i'll be damned it's a bit fucked up uh it's a bit sick and twisted they called her kate i don't know why how many roles are there in arc knights what do you mean roles a 13 i'll let you know after b all right 14 c 15 D, 16. So, roles. Uh, I only learned this for this uh, game show, but roles are the thing when you click an operator in, like, like the opera selector, right? Mm -hmm. And it opens up their page. You see their masteries and their skills on the right, right? Stats on the left, yeah. their name on the bottom left. Below that, they have their, uh, their, their class, guard, right? With their archetype, yeah, yeah. their range. And right next to it says... Uh, DPS, crowd control, uh, summon, uh, 
it had those are those that's that, those are what roles are it's those little uh, titles they attribute to characters yeah we're swapping this fucking question fuck this shit <laughs> we can't get a new one <laughs> <laughs> fuck that <laughs> fuck it. so i don't actually have a slide for the swap question i will just uh say it out loud for you actually wait, wait, wait. what's the answer though? i'm curious the answer is uh it's four it's 14 i believe yeah it's 14. i'll be damned that's four yeah. it's 14. i don't think you would have gotten that to be honest yeah, yeah but no, for your not. question to pass the five hundred thousand op who is mochi's wife is it a dorothy b ashney c mulberry d irene uh based upon yeah, maybe a bit of the slander earlier i okay. think i'm aiming towards mulberry you uh, drew that she could just be a character i like she she's not cute she might not be number one that is true that is true anyway what was the second one you said uh ashini the uh blue hair ponytail ryan lab welfare who the fuck <laughs> not a five-star player i see <laughs> what she look like blue hair ponytail has got uh science goggles on she, she says hello everybody if you click on her ashany ashany yep she the uh uh I'm she's the emote look. that i usually reply to you with that, that's ashany here you oh, go I'll, I'll give it Astasia's sister Astasia's sister yep that is ashany oh okay no i'm seeing the problem yeah i've never pronounced her name like that i've always pronounced it as Astgen. Ask again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, my, my pronunciation being the problem. I was like, bro, who has an H in their name? What the fuck? What ask ask Janine. Yeah. It's Janine. Ask Janine. Yeah. I mean, that's not even up there with some of the names I butcher. M Musili as well. Yeah. Um, Ashani's how she pronounces it. So that's how uh, okay. I've been saying it. Okay. The fact that you would know that and the fact that you would know she has a ponytail and the fact that you always use the emotes. I would have to say it's Ashtony. Oh, but watch out. I'm going to give you another hint. The, uh, this emote exists as well. That is true. Motherfuckers do be crazy about Dorothy. I'm beginning to come to the realization you like all of these motherfuckers. <laughs> I like I like all of these motherfuckers, but there is only, uh, there's only one that stands atop the, the list. Who was the fourth one again? Fourth one was Irene. I've never once heard you talk about Irene. Oh, but wait. <laughs> okay, the fact that you just have these emotes. I, you know what? I'll complete your list for you. Here you go. Here's Mobilian. <laughs> okay, I'm checking these emotes too to see which one is from like Arknight's official because that's how I could suss w which one out. But they're all from a fucking private server. God damn it. Yep, they are co commissioned. I commissioned these. You commissioned them to brother <laughs> fuck let me ask you a question Go you ahead. see two pills in front of you I see two mm -hmm. a blonde pill that has rabbit ears springing from it or a white pill that has bird seeping from it which one are you taking good question I will have to say that technically <laughs> the one of those pills has the wrong ears. That's the that's the incorrect animal. Oh, did I say what did I say for Dor Dorothy's a rat? Did I say bunny? Uh, you said bunny ears, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. She she's like a kangaroo rat, right? The fact that you would know that it's Dorothy. Dorothy, is the correct answer. Dorothy is. Number one. We ball. Which branch from the Fallen can ha can have decreased taunt priority in their base trait? A. Therapists. B. Merchants. C. Hexers. D. Trapmasters. Uh, Trapmaster, Dorothy, Hexers, Shamari, Merchant, J. Therapist. 
Mulberry and shit? And like uh, Lumen, right? Lumen is a therapist. Okay, and Mulberry is, and she's a wandering medic, that's right. Um, What are the lifelines I have? 50-50. And that's it? And that's it. So that means I'd have to raw dog it for a million. You could raw dog it for a million. Okay. Um, I would say let's let's pull it to the 50-50. I don't know what the million dollar question is, but I could lock in. You can lock in? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the computer's RNGing right now. It's trying to decide, uh, you know, what, what it wants to delete, uh, what, what answers it wants to I'm get thinking, rid of. There's no way it's therapist because fucking Lumen have an ass. It's only him I could remember. Tramaster, I could see it. Merchant, I could see it. Hexer. No. The computer Maybe. has decided to get rid of Trapmasters and Hexers. Therapist and Merchants are your choices. It would have to be Merchant. I just... Are you sure? Think about what a no merchant does. It consumes DP. He utilizes DP costs, yeah. Yep. I feel as though that's some shit like Lee would have, though, you know? The Lee could have increased taunt, I believe. I'm pretty sure he does with his skill. Um, Therapist? Who's in Therapist? It's Lumen and... Who, whom's those? Uh, Whispering, I believe. Uh... I'm blanking on who else is a therapist, but Lumen, uh, Whispering, uh, uh Pure Stream, uh, I think Lumen and, and Ceylon, or Salon. I think Lumen might give decreased top priority when he heals. That's something I can maybe see. He do be doing the funny on his skill. True. I've never really used them except for one time when I was following an Echo Gen guide. <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> even... <laughs> uh, so I'd say therapist. Locking in therapists. How are you feeling? Do you think you might fail right before the bag? The bag is right in I'm front of feeling, you. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Are you correct? Yes, you are. It is, in fact, therapists get uh, negative taunts or decreased taunts with their modules. Congrats. You have made it to the final question. The million <laughs> OP question. Who is the artist for these characters? Dorothy, Mulberry, and Core Serum. A. Nori CZ. B. Jackknife. C. Senmo D. Star Shadow Magic. This game is a gacha game. We pride ourselves on the art. So we must pay homage, homage, and respect for the artists that give us all this beautiful stuff that we look at. It's not Senmo. They're Ray and Ascalon's artists. Um You're down to Udo. three choices. Fuck is Jackknife. Um Star Shadow Magic? That sounds made up, but I think they did Ash. Maybe. It sounds familiar. It sounds made up, though, but Nori ZC, they've done, like, fucking everything, so I wouldn't be surprised. Aren't they, like, the lead artist for, for Arknights at this point? I think they're, like, the... Actually, no, I think that might still be at W, or I think they may have gotten promoted, and it was Nori ZC, ZC who had pulled up. Hoshi hmm? Eve was the lead designer. Mm -hmm. uh, Nori has a lot of art, you know. I only chose three, just to, you know, keep it within limits. Yeah. Uh, you know, because uh, if, I, if I do a bunch, then you know, it might be, it's gonna be the artist yeah. that has a bunch. Um, in terms of style, I don't really. Who, who else has Nori ZC done? Not Spectre, that was Skade. Um, Scotty was Alchemaniac. Gladia? Hmm. I don't know who did Gladia. Nori ZC. Hmm. They did a lot of beginning characters within the game. I don't know who the fuck Jackknife is. 
So it's either they pull it up for just three operators and it's those three and never touch the game again. Star Shadow Magic legitimately, like if that is true, like if that is an actual artist for the game and I have not seen their name at all. That is a legitimate name. That is a legitimate artist in the game. Yes. Who the fuck? Ain't no way they fucking did Dorothy because I, I would have pulled up her. Because the thing is, like, I, I usually follow on Twitter the artists of the character, so I'm like, oh, you did like, a great job with that one. Like, Ryu Kizachi. If you put if you put up Ryu Kizachi, I would have gotten this shit immediately. Um, but I follow the ones on Twitter who I'm like, oh, I really like your art within this one. Mm -hmm. And Dorothy, I believe, to be within that similar thing, because Dorothy's art is amazing. And I would have remembered seeing fucking Star Shadow Magic. Well, I may have dementia, but there's no way I'd forget that, yeah? Uh, maybe it is a pretty unique name in the game it's uh i believe chinese characters that go after star but you know ah oh, fuck that uh, is complicated matters yeah i try the to i, I try to like give out. english ish names to not be just random characters <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah main would be like how it looks on the a ship because that's it links to all their tortoise and stuff right yeah <sighs> there's no way it's fucking jackknife I would be between Nori ZC just because that motherfucker has done, like, so many characters to where, by volume, yeah. And then the other one would be Star Shadow Magic because that's the choice where it's just so out there to where it's like, it has to be, you know? Unless it's just True. Jackknife the entire fucking time and I'm just fucking, um, and I'm just shitting on Jackknife. <laughs> I just can't remember any other character Nori ZC has done because I can remember how they look. Yeah. I just can't remember any other character they've done. You have to pull it from memory. You got to pull it from those little little snippets of you know who um, who who brought it. You know, who not Silver Ash, not Exia, not Angelina, because Angelina's artist everyone talks shit about. We are um, running low on time. I will be pressing you for an answer. <sighs> Nori ZC. We're locking in Nori CC. Locking in A. Well. How how confident are you? Now that you've locked in, now that you, you know, come to terms with your answer, how are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? I feel as though I should have had this one in the bag more, but I just could not remember. You know what? I'm feeling pretty confident because I feel as though when it comes to Dorothy, I would have definitely checked out the artist because mm -hmm. i remember i was hyped for dorothy because i'm like damn her designs just amazing and all that and i would have definitely checked out the artist so i feel as though if it was something like star shadow magic or jackknife mm -hmm. i feel as though i would have remembered that but the fact that i could not remember it makes me think it's nori because i would have looked at it and went yeah i thought as much and then moved on you know instead of that being like oh that's a new name let me follow them on twitter or some shit you know true true so true. i would think it has to be nori yeah. nori uh May or may not be. That's the only one I know. Uh, may or may not be the correct answer. Nori is, uh, you know, what if I said uh, he drew uh, Moo Moo? Would that give you more confidence? Mm. I can only remember her E2. <laughs> mm. I would say, I mean, yeah, it does give me more confidence. They're both Ryan Lab oriented. Wait, wait, wait. Nori ZC drew fucking Saria. That is the sorry artist this yeah. Fuck. That actually complicates matters because Well, I'm sorry, but you have locked in. Yeah, fuck. Let's yeah, see. Sorry's design is so different. Oh. Let's see if you brought home the one million OP. And you are Incorrect. Uh, who the fuck is Jack? It Knight? is Jack Knife. Jack Knife is the, the artist. The second I, the second I remembered fucking the Jusari, I was like, oh, it's Jack Knife. <laughs> fucking goddamn it. Jack. I believe it is time to start closing the show. Please give the audience any last feelings and thoughts that you you've had over this this game, this game show tonight. Your your final closing thoughts, perhaps. To anyone within the audience who thought I was going to lose, you may have been correct, but I will find you. I'd be it. Damn.
a threat to end the night. <laughs>